Yeah, what, what's really struck me um, about the games is that at the beginning, I, I didn't really feel as though they were, you know, particularly close to the films. You know, they were sort of a separate, um, a separate entity, really. And then increasingly, they've become, you know, so close and, and accurate to what we've been making in the films. And it's just been incredible to see that recreated into a game. And, um, you know, Hogwarts was this incredible universe, you know, this, um, you know, so intricate, inter intricate and detailed and then you know for you guys well for EA games to have to kind of throw all of that work away and start again you know and um, and create this new world that, that we inhabit for Deathly Hallows I think it's just you know phenomenal and um, you know what's been achieved is, is really amazing and it makes a very exciting you know and very different experience than, than the games that have come before it. I think it's incredibly important to, you know, have a strong female role model in in video games, you know, and her, and Hermione is exactly that, you know, she's incredibly intelligent, she's strong, she's brave, she's determined, um, you know, she's she's a good character to have to have in a game and and you know, you know, besides all of that, you know, I think it's just incredibly important to have a to have a girl to offset all of that testosterone, um, you know, that you find in video games. So, uh, no, I'm very I'm very pleased that there's a female presence and and that Hermione is is a part of that. What's incredible about the video game is that, um, you know. It's a full world that they've created, you know, whereas when we're filming on set, you know, there'll only be maybe parts of a certain room or parts of a certain set and, you know, we'll be able to walk on and off it. Whereas when you're playing the video game, it's just, it's, it's, I mean, real isn't the right word, but it's kind of never, never ending. It's endless and it's, um, you just get to explore all of these parts of, of the world that you wouldn't get to normally. And um, I just think that's amazing, you know, for fans of, fans of the books and for fans of the films and the stories, to have the opportunity to do that is really special and, and unique. Whenever we get the new demos of the game, I'm always, of course, that's the first thing I'm interested in and want to see. It's like, what do I look like? What's, you know, how do I sound? What, what does Hermione get to do in this one? You know, of course, I have, an, you know, I have an invested interest. Definitely, definitely. Okay. I think that sounds absolutely incredible. Um, you know, the thought of, playing a game that's that interactive and that you're actually using your full physical self and being, you know, it's so much more interactive, you know, than, than pressing a button. You know, I, I, to me that sounds much more exciting. Um, it, it just blows my mind the way that technology is going. It really does. I, I just think it's amazing. I can't, I can't wait to see where that kind of technology goes really. Yeah, it's, it's one of the great things about the franchise, actually, how the video games have grown up with the films. I mean, not that we're not, uh, we're not proud of the very early films, but they're a world away from what they are now, as really are the games. Um, not only just for a technology basis, I mean, obviously the new games, the, the, the graphics are 20 times better than they used to be. Uh, the fluidity of how everything moves is, is far better, not so rigid. Not, you know, not, I'm not, not knocking previous games, I'm just saying that every year it, it has improved, as have, as, as have the films. Um, It was one of the things that I think uh, lured more people in as the films become more became more about defending yourself and, and you know equipping yourself with spells and you know all this kind of thing. Uh, it's great that the games moved in that direction too because I think everyone after the second film wanted to have a duel with a wand and very very successfully they they, uh, they achieved that and yeah since then the the spells have only become sort of more advanced as have the magic and and wonder really and you've really incorporated that fantastically in the game, so 
this new one sounds even more exciting. <laughs> I mean, the, the best part of the games over the years is really the incorporation of, of the magic and the, the wonders of the film, really. Um, and I, was, I don't know how many wands they sold in the first year or, or other magical items, but to actually go onto a, a game and actually have the experience of, uh, you know, casting spells and defeating enemies such as myself, I'm pretty sure I get defeated several. I'm like a mini boss, I think, in a few levels and I just get, just get done. Uh, but I actually quite enjoyed that, playing Harry and defeating myself as a character. That was, that was quite enjoyable. Um, yeah, it really is just incorporating all the fascinating things of the wonderful world of Harry Potter, really. Well, I mean, really, it's the first one we were ever, we were ever taught at Hogwarts, a bit of Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used for a, an array of, of things, as you know, blocking spells or, or launching back at your enemies and such. So yeah, we use that one a lot, to be fair. Oh, I have used it a lot, to be fair, in the game. <laughs> Um, well, it, it really incorporates so much more than um, than previous games in regards to Hogwarts and things like that. We really, this this is the first film, and I'm I'm hoping the game where we get a chance to get out of Hogwarts and actually see. Uh, I mean, they 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 spend several several weeks in the woods. Uh, they go to London, which again, if that's incorporated in the game, which would be amazing to actually have the chance to take some of the uh, the wizarding world and bring it over to the Muggle Muggle Kingdom, which would be fantastic. So yeah, that'd be very cool. Yeah, well, I'm very excited for the Connect because uh, I much prefer actually doing things rather than sitting there twiddling your thumbs. The idea of being able to cast a spell by by waving something around your head will be uh, fantastic. So it could be it could be dangerous for me. I get I get rather into it, but generally speaking, it'll be a, a lot of fun. <laughs>